Whereas the art of opera can create a work that's fit for any gourmet's plate, the author and composer humbly wish to offer you a much more trivial dish. Theirs is a tale occasioned by a letter proceeding through a kiss to something better. The composer begs you will forgive it if his music sounds a little bit derivative. The author craves your pardon for a plot so thin and both now bid me leave you that we may begin. <laughs> Peter parallels, but the T's are Sir Anthony Angles, yet it has the negligence of Sir Jeremy Jowl. No, I wager Sir Peter wrote it in his cups, the dissolute rake, and yet they're all as bad, oh men are rogues. The task is to find one that is not also a bore. Seven weeks ago, Shut 
shall perform my new play to him, and everyone will have to act a part. Also, Sir Peter Parallel is invited. He will doubtless wish to indicate his affection for you. Indicate he may. Oh, I shall not accept it. Holmes, he has a pleasing countenance and is wealthy, but for his debt. What more is there to it? That we should love each other. Love? Yes, love will come one day. Just a word for an imaginary emotion, a poet's notion to say or see. It's quite absurd to look for such devotion. I never heard of such body, no, not in all my life. Love is but a word, madam. Pray you remember this. Love is not a real thing. to me. Oh, the frustration of having an heiress as a ward. But if I can thus get back the money that Sir Peter owes me, that will give an added eloquence to my suggestion that Mr. Hollywood should present my new play at his theatre. But as for love, who will marry a girl for love? A man must go gambling and wenching. It's an open secret. If Mary you'd be reckoned in the reign of Charles II, you have to lead a kind of double life. It doesn't really matter if you're something of a satyr, provided that you conceal it from your wife. Neither ever crows about the things the other knows about. Pretend that lack of knowledge is the thing. It's a social convention, which like others I could mention, was introduced from Paris by the king. A man must go gambling and wenching, for his nature he cannot oppose. The thing is an open secret, a sin that everyone knows. It's wisest to discover, if your lady has a lover, the knowledge gives you license, so to speak. A burden that your luck hold, you will not be made a cuckold, although of course there's one born every week. Take a tip from Evelyn, don't publish what you revel in, but hide it in your diary free from plans. It's a simple rule, perhaps, but if it should once collapse, the king might have to flee again to France. A man must go gambling and wenching, for his nature he cannot oppose. The thing is an open secret, a sin that everyone knows. It's gone. He must. 
must have taken it back. Make haste, Susan. The party must soon begin. We have a busy evening ahead of us. Busy indeed. He makes me coy already. <laughs> What you have written, sir, will have a successful outcome. Every word is well considered. And every letter, I hope, it will be a good play. What sort of play is it, sir? <laughs> Come closer, girl, I'll show you. Not now, sir. I've work to do. No better time than now. No, sir, you're impatient. She's a sprightly wench, this game here. <laughs> Blame 
Lies elsewhere. Bye, Sir Peter. <laughs> I am in a false position, madam, <laughs> and I hope you will favor my escape from it. Sir Robert wishes to unite me to serve up. Senatory state may pay off my debt to him, but if I can prevail on this good lady to sway her husband's feelings, I may avoid an alliance I do not wish to make, and the discharge of a debt I am in no hurry to pay. Pray, man, do not take me far away. A gallant madam, nothing but kiss and one. The gallant will call and his lady's chin must must a few dead friends. Oh, no, 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 no,
dull, nothing so gay, so dull, so gay, so dull, so gay, so dull, so gay. There's nothing so gay, there's nothing so gay, there's nothing so gay. Thank you. 
Hi, ma'am. An actor's is an exacting profession. It requires not only an outlay for versatility, but of resources. Expression. I can think of an expression. It will make a fine impression. 
Baseness are unfounded. I fear my lady Essex and the Queen clamour to see you tortured unto death. Flee from this court, I bid you, while tis safe. Unto the country, till this foul scourge be passed. Are the foul scourge, sir? Here, sir, it says exit. Where do I go? Go behind the screen. Yet, 
What sort of love is this, pray? Why, you've only just this moment met. Why, so will you not let them be wed? Because, ma'am, I will not. Such a quick courtship is not proper.
I suspect you are right. Honeywood, I withdraw my objection. Your humble self. <laughs> Yeah. 